This is my audience. Imagine this. You're at home watching the 2021 Tokyo Summer Olympic Games, and your favorite gymnast, Suni Lee, is competing. Suni Lee made history becoming the first Hmong American to bring home a gold medal. And to be more of an inspiration, she earned her medal through hardships. In this speech, I will discuss the road to Suni Lee's victory. More specifically, her childhood, hardships faced, and the home stretch of her journey. Suni was born in Minnesota, and her passion for gymnastics was formed at the age of six years old. At seven, she won the state all-around title, and by 11, she qualified for the top-ranking elite status. While she achieved so much already, a 2021 article titled Gymnast Sunisa Lee's Gold Medal Elates Her Hometown Hmong Community by authors Jacqueline Diaz and Bill Chappelle states, in Suni's own words, you have to understand, this is a highly inaccessible sport, especially for communities like ours, because it is so expensive and time consuming. In addition to this quote, is actually stated that her father had built her a balance beam because they could not afford one themselves, so he had made one for her so she could practice at home. A great athlete undergoes great measures. Suni lost two loved ones, both her aunt and her uncle, due to COVID. Her father was paralyzed shortly before the Olympic trials after falling from a tree, and they had believed that he would not make it. And after the gyms reopened after COVID, she had fallen and broken her foot, which was another struggle because she could no longer train all day. She had to rest her foot. Even after these hardships, she continued to persevere, taking home the gold with a score of 15.2 in her Olympic Games. Suni not only was an inspiration to Hmong Americans, but also those in St. Paul. So much so that her grandparents had a mural made for her, which was her kissing her gold medal. In a 2021 article by the Star Tribune, it states that her grandmother wanted to honor Suni for her accomplishments, but also represent the achievements and success of the Hmong community here in Twin Cities. Another accomplishment of hers was becoming the first gymnast to beat her former teammate Simone Biles since the year 2013 who was extremely proud of her teammate. As we reach the end, we see all of these amazing accomplishments. We have seen her childhood struggles, we have seen her history-making endeavors, and to conclude in the words of Sumi herself, my normal is good enough, so I don't do anything more or anything less. I just have to do what I normally do. Thank you.